The Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004 was one of the worst natural disasters in recorded history. More than 220,000 people across a dozen countries were killed. As we mark 20 years since the disaster, one of the key lessons learned was the urgent need for reliable early warning systems. CNA's Grace Shin has more. Just one month after the disaster, world leaders gathered at a UN conference to establish the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System, a crucial step in preventing future loss of life. The system uses a network of sensors and buoys to detect changes in water pressure caused by seismic activity. This data is sent via satellite to tsunami warning centers, and that's where experts assess the risk and issue alerts to affected countries. Before 2004, the Indian Ocean had no dedicated tsunami warning system, leaving the region largely unprepared for such disasters. On the other hand, the Pacific Ocean, where 80 percent of the world's tsunamis occur, had been monitoring seismic activity for years. Beyond technology, effective early warning systems also rely on regional cooperation. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was a wake-up call. After that disaster, countries such as India, Indonesia, and Australia developed their own national tsunami warning systems. And today, they work together to share vital data and timely alerts, which has significantly improved the region's ability to respond to these natural hazards. And since the Indian Ocean tsunami warning system was established, there have been several tsunamis detected in the region. While none have been as catastrophic as the 2004 disaster in terms of death toll, the early warnings played a crucial role in mitigating the impact by enabling timely evacuations. But despite technological advances, tsunamis remain a threat, especially to vulnerable coastal areas. And experts say ongoing cooperation and continuous improvements to early warning systems are crucial for helping communities better prepare for and respond to future risks.